So, will I recommend this product? Definitely, yes. It's a must try. Will I repurchase? Definitely, I will repurchase this too. Kasi napakarami pang laman nitong facial foam. And napakatipid din naman niya. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is again Mafe of Makeup Me Maria, also known as Makeup by Maria in Facebook and Instagram. And today is the last day of our 14-day challenge with Rick's Skin Serity Skincare Product. And kung gusto niyo malaman kung ano yung full thoughts ko about the, the skincare line of Rick's Skin Serity, then please keep on watching. <laughs> Guys, this is how my face looks like on the ninth day. I was not able to film ng eighth day, which is yesterday, kasi nasa Batangas kami, nasa, ano, yeah, Batangas, malamig sa Punta Fuego. And my face is really peeling. I don't know bakit nagkaroon ng peeling, but I think I used the toner excessively or something. Doon sa skincare na medyo napadami or napatagal kung inapply, pero nagpeeling siya. So, I used moisturizer three times a day yesterday and nawala naman siya so this is how it looks like again this is the ninth day kakahilamos ko lang so nawala naman yung peeling siguro nasa hangin din siya kasi ang lamig 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 dito and also lalo na sa Punta Fuego so siguro yun din yung nag cause ng pagiging um, ng peeling sa aking bala pero ngayon nawala na siya marami dito sobra sa gilid ng aking nose sa gilid ng aking mouth and konti dito yun lang naman yung areas na yun which is remember last time yun yung nilagyan ko ng ini-scrub ko ng toner using cotton and like the rest of my face ina-apply ko lang with my hands o oh, kagigising ko lang so this is my first hilamos for day um 9 so ayan ang itsura niya pero tinuloy ko kahapon yung Rick Skin Serity yun na lang gumamit po ako gumamit po ako ng moisturizer like three times a day ko siyang in-apply kasi um, I'm with my friends and I cannot afford to um, have my face um, peeling like that. So again, that's the ninth day. I'm, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is day 11 of me using Rick's Skin Serity skincare products. Only the skincare products from Rick's Skin Serity. See you tomorrow. Day 12 of me using Rick's Skin Serity skin, um, skincare product. So, this is how my face looks like. Super glowing, super kinis, and super glass skin ang the thing. Alright, so there you have it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, this is my 13th day phase. So this is how it looks like. Again, I just came out of shower. And this is how my face looks like on the 13th day. Mind you guys, tinitipid ko na talaga yung serum kasi konti-konti na lang siya. And gusto ko siyang umabot sa 14th day para mabigyan ko kayo ng full 2 weeks update about the product. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Hey guys, so this is now finally day 14 of me using your Skin Serity skincare products. This is how my face looks like without um, the toner and the serum yet. Um, I just finished um, taking a shower. This is all with the hydrating foam and also the glow bar only. So even if wala pa siyang serum at saka wala pa siyang toner, makikita nyo talagang makinis na siya, may kintab na siya on the highest points of my face. Kaya masasabi kong okay na okay talaga siya. So I'll show you how I apply the toner on my face and as well as the serum. So sinalin ko lang itong Rick Skin Therapy sa spray bottle. Unit spray. And then I let it dry before using the Eric's Skin Therapy Serum. Wala na nga siya, uubos na ho. Saktong-sakto lang talaga siya sa 14 days, as in sakto lang. Fast absorbent talaga tong toner na to. And then once dry na yung face natin, tsaka natin i-apply yung serum. Sobrang nakaka-addict tong serum na to, kaya ang bilis niyang maubos. And then what I do is just spread it. Ganyan. And then pat. And then just let it be absorbed face. So that's it. That's how I apply the toner in as well. The toner and the serum. Back to the video. Simulan na nga natin ang review, my full and final thoughts about Rick's Skin Serity products. And simulan natin dito sa Ultra Hydrating Foam Cleanser nila. So, this cost 350 pesos for 160 ml. Para sa akin, namamahalan ako kasi meron pa dyang ibang facial foam na um, mas mura pero yun nga lang, um, mas maunti yung product niya. So, para sa akin, siguro, bawasan na lang nila or palta nila yung packaging if you just, if papansinin naman ng Rex Sincerity yung opinion ko, no? Kahit konti na lang siguro um, or palta na lang yung package kasi alam ko nagpamahal dito ay eh, yung foam maker. So, kung tutuusin, ayun nga, 14 days pa lang naubos na yung serum. Tapos ito marami pa at almost kalhati pa yung laman niya. So, dun sa claims... It claims to be hydrating. Yes, it is really hydrating. And it is truly for all skin types. Masasabi ko dito, it is mild cleanser. And siguro kahit sa mga dry skin, pwedeng pwede rin siya. Kasi my, my skin is currently sensitive. Pero um, on a regular day, combination to oily siya. Ngayon kasi medyo malamig yung hangin. I don't know why. Pero sa ibang mga lugar kasi talagang sobrang ginaw. Dito sa amin, medyo malamig kaya nagdodry yung skin ko easily. So, that's the reason why it's a little sensitive. Pero kahit sensitive yung skin ko, um, napaka mild lang ng effect ng cleanser na ito. Kaya, I'll give this a 5 out of 5. So, move on naman tayo sa glow bar. Ito yung glow bar nila. Malaki-laki pa rin yung natira. Um... Kinalhati ko kasi siya eh. So, ito yung kalhati. Yung kalhati, medyo ubos ko na. And nasira yung net. So, um, ginamit ko na lang yung net nung isa ko pang whip soap. Dati kong whip soap, um, na naubos na, dun ko na lang nilagay yung net. So, again, um, ang negative lang dito sa product na to is sobrang lambot niya. As in, madali siyang mabasag or madali siyang uh, makrumble. Kasi nga, nung hinati ko siya sa gitna, medyo nag-crumble yung isa. So, pinuo ko pa siya, ganyan yung ganyan ko siya. Although, na-form naman siya ng mabilisan, yun nga lang, 
iba na yung shape niya. So, parang siguro sa sobrang dami ng serum or I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, medyo malambot yung soap. So, that actually means madali din siyang matunaw. So, packaging-wise, again, ang laki niya, mukha siyang potato chip packaging, even if napakaliit lang naman. In yung net, ayun nga, medyo mahuna. Napunit na siya agad after 10 days. Napunit siya, kaya ginamit ko yung isang net ng dati kong whip soap. Um, it is definitely cleansing, moisturizing, pero wala akong nakitang whitening. Um, the other thing is, medyo drying siya. As in, dapat pag ginamit mo yung foam niya, hindi ka ganun masyadong magtatagal or hindi siya masyadong magtatagal sa face mo. Kasi, uh, masasabi ko lang, drying talaga siya. As in, ngayon pa naman, malamig yung panahon, besh. As in, ang hapde. May hapding nagaganap kapag ito yung ginamit mo. Kaya, kung ikaw ay dry to sensitive skin, siguro skip mo na lang to. Pero the good thing is, it is definitely moisturizing and amoy na amoy ko yung bango na dala ng, um, ng sabon na to. Pagpasok mo sa CR, ito yung una mong maaamoy. Siguro yung lapot, makikita mo na malapot yung soap kapag um, gumagawa ka ng foam dahil yun sa snail extract. Pero again, wala akong white effect na nakita. So, if you're gonna ask me, this will only be 2.5 out of 5. Pwede mo na rin tong skip besh. Huwag mo na lang tong bilhin kung hindi ka naman masyadong um, nagpapatighten ng face. Pero, kung oily ka in combination, magandang maganda to dito sa pores mo. Nakakatighten siya ng pores. Pero, mind you, walang moisturizer itong skincare na ito. So, kung ikaw ay dry skin, matatighten yung pores mo, but then again, magdi-dehydrate. I mean, dry lang talaga siya. So, you have to think of twice kung bibilin mo tong product na to or hindi. Move on tayo sa toner. Nakikita nyo naman. Halos maubos ko na. Yes, maaksaya akong gumamit. Siguro kung hindi ko siya ginagamit ng twice in one usage, tapos three, hindi siya three times a day, siguro marami pa to. Pero, three times a day ko siya ginagamit and twice kasi ako mag-apply. One with the cotton or wipes para ma-wipe away yung remaining dirt on my face. And the second is to um, pat it dry on my face just like a toner. So this is one of my favorite among all the products on this product line or this skincare line. Bakit? Kasi talagang multitasking tong product na to. So ano na siya? Pwede na siyang cleansing water or micellar water with a cotton pad or cotton wipes. Matatanggal niya yung um, remaining or excessive dirt, deep cleansing talaga siya sa face mo. At the same time, ito yung nagbibigay ng kinang and um, kinis sa mukha ko every time na nilalagay ko siya. Kahit hindi ko pa nilalagay yung serum, sobrang makinis at makintab na talaga yung face ko using this. But then again, yun nga kasi, tinransfer ko siya, oh, ito pa pala yung konting laman. Tinransfer ko siya dito. What I do is, I use this, put it on a cotton pad, Wipe it on my face to remove excess dirt. And then I use this. And then spray ko lang siya all over my face and let it dry. So that's what I do. So negative, um, siguro wala akong masasabing negative dito. Um, para sa price niya, by the way, itong glow bar is 100 grams for 215 pesos. Mas mura siya definitely dun sa isang brand. Pero again, may meron lang siyang pinipiling skin type na um, na mag-work. Ito naman, this is cleansing water for 215 pesos. For a toner, medyo okay-okay yung price niya. Siguro mas maganda kung mas marami or mas mura yung price. Pero, um, worth it talaga siya. As in, worth it siya. You can also try the same method I use dito. Ito pang wipe lang. Ito pang spray para mas maganda yung effect niya sa face. So, Ang claims nito ay, ano bang claim mo? Deep, um, remove dust and impurities, definitely. It removes deep, um, deep-seated dirt on the face. And also, it minimizes the pores. Nakakatulong din siya na mag-minimize minimize ng pores. So, kung hindi nyo naman bibilhin to, huwag kayong mag-alala kasi ito nakaka-minimize din talaga siya ng pores. As in, talagang malaking difference yung nakita ko dito sa side of my nose kasi talagang dyan dyan pagkalaki-laki ang barangay ng open pores so ayun lang this is a must have this is 5 out of 5 and finally dito tayo sa kaibigan kong halos wala ng laman ayan o oh. 
tingnan mo. Ayun, hindi ko na lang makuha tong napaka-konting part na to. Hindi ko siya masimot. Siguro tataktakin ko na lang. Pero, ayan, ayan, ganyan pa siya kadami. Pero hindi ko siya makuha nito. Ika-14 day na ngayon. Actually, mamaya, papaghugas ko ng mukha ko, yun na yung night time ng ika-14 day. That's the reason why I'm making this video now because I know mamaya lang aabutin to kasi nakaka-addict to. Yun yung... Think about this, Rex Skin CRT Skin Perfecting Serum. Nakaka-addict talaga siya. So, this costs... Asa na ba? 350 pesos, mga besh. Yes, 350 pesos sa 15ml lang. Ay, ayan, 15ml lang to. 350 pesos. Sobrang namamahalan ako dito, besh. Although, sabi lang naman sa ingredient is, majority of it is aloe vera extract, pero meron siyang niacinamide and other extract na nagpapakintab ng face mo na nakaka-Josa talaga as in nakaka-Korean skin. So, worth it siya para sa price niya. But if there are things to improve, sana kahit medyo mahal lang ng konti, maglabas sila ng malaki-laking um, bottle kasi napupunta lang sa shipping yung um, almost one-fourth nung presyo niya kapag umu or pag nagre-repurchase ka nito. Pero sa claims niya na skin perfecting talaga, talagang skin perfecting siya. Ito yung nakaka-addict as in kahit huwag mo nang bilhin yung iba, ito lang ang gamitin mo. Sobrang ganda. So, bibigyan ko to ng 6 out of 5. Yes, 6 out of 5 kung merong 6 out of 5. So, will I recommend this product? Definitely, yes. It's a must try. If meron naman kayong budget, although medyo mahal, may kamahalan siya pag binili mo siya lahat-lahat, pero sulit na sulit naman talaga yung bili mo sa products na ito. Will I repurchase? Definitely, I will repurchase this too kasi napakarami pang laman nitong facial foam and napakatipid din naman niya. And I will purchase these product from Ed's Galang Shop or Eris Shop in Facebook. Ilalagay ko na lang yung link ng kanyang shop sa description box below. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Goodbye!